Good morning everyone. Welcome to day eight of training Mustang Julius. Today we're working in my round pen. Um, it's just a 30 foot enclosure, not really a working space, but I use it to uh, feed horses in. It's kind of like a catch pen. And um, today we're just going to do a little more work in it because there's a few less distractions and it's just a smaller space. So we're just going to see how he does in here. It's not really a round pin, round pin. But I am going to send him around a little bit to start. Let's see if he's good with my body language because I don't have a stick. So I only have a few short minutes this morning because I do have classes this morning. Today is my first day of the fall semester at Texas a and Ooh. Oh, that worked out. Let me fix this for you, buddy. So I just have a few short minutes before I have to head to class this morning. So we're just going to get a little bit of a me desensitizing session in. Usually I do this stuff a lot earlier, but he's very, um, very comfortable around me now. Since day two or three, he's gotten really comfortable around me. So we're just going to test that today. Oh. Oh. gotten really comfortable with me walking straight up to him. So I'm just going to kind of dance around a little bit. Just make sure he's cool with me doing whatever random human stuff. Woo. 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 <laughs> he doesn't like my feet going. Good boy. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Let's come over here now. requires a lot more energy from me than from him. Do a cartwheel. Do a cartwheel. <laughs> let's see if I can do a cartwheel, buddy. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> what was that? Oh! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Here, take this. start him really lightly. But if my vet's like, eh, I don't know, I'll definitely wait or end up rehoming him before he's old enough to ride. Because I can't keep him forever, although I wish I could. But there's nothing wrong with putting a little weight on horse's back that's about two, two and a half. Where issues come into play is when you're riding the horse and um, that impact. If a horse is going to have issues getting started too young, it's because of the impact, the continuous hit, 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 hit of their feet with the weight of the rider under them. It's that uh, continuous impact which will break down their bones and their joints if they're too young. I, I don't have a specific age to say, oh, a horse is too young, oh, a horse needs more time. You know, I'm not an expert at that, that's why I consult my vet. But if there's going to be an issue, it's because of that, their feet continuously hitting the ground with a weight on top of them. So there's not really any issue with just putting some weight on them at the standstill. So, I'm going to start jumping up and down, flopping on them like this. Yeah, good boy. Go around to the other side. I'm going to keep his nose, I didn't do it right there, but I'm going to keep his nose tilted slightly towards me. So if he did want to scoop, the only place he can go is move those hind quarters away from me. He can't move them into me if his nose is tilted towards me. That's where it would get dangerous, is if those hind quarters came towards me. There we go. Okay, not back up, just tilt. No, I'm not back up, I'm not back up, buddy. Like, look, you taught me how to back up. I'm doing so good at it. You're touching so good. I don't pull your high, your four quarters up at me. Just like that. And I'll flop around. And I'll make some noise. And I'll do the windmill with my hands. Good. I'm sweating already. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! because I'm short. He's really only about 14 too, but compared to what I'm used to, he's tall. Good boy. Good boy. Go ahead and snooze that for me, please. That's my alarm to leave. So I'm gonna stand up on here, because he's tall for me. I'm gonna stand on this rickety bucket, and I'm gonna jump around on it. I'm not going to tiptoe around him. That's where people get into trouble when starting horses, is when they tiptoe, when they're like, oh, let's see, let's see, are you okay with this? Oh, I don't know. That's when they start to get nervous, just like that. Good boy. When you kind of bang around, make some noise, throw stuff around, they might not be cool with it at first. He's doing an excellent job of trusting me, but they'll get used to it eventually, the more you do it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and good boy. Oh good boy. Oh. Ah. <laughs> he was still backing up, but I was losing my balance, so I wanted to jump down and make it my idea. Generally when they stand still, that's when you get down and take the pressure off. He's doing really good though. He's doing really good though. Let's do There you go, just like that. Good boy. What a good boy. Now I'm going to kick my legs around. I'm going to make some noise. I'm going to pat him. Good boy. And then I'm going to hop down. Good boy, you're so smart. You're so smart. Come on over here. Come on over here. Good. Good boy. Let's do Come on up. Scratch him while he relaxes like that. Yeah. Get him used to this not being a big deal. This is not a big deal. I can pat on him. I can lean on him. I can kick my legs every which way. Good boy. Ah! There's no food in that bucket. I promise. Oh, is that Mamos? He's looking at my puppy dog. moving his feet and tilts his nose to the side, that's where I'm going to release him. So that's what I want him to do. Yeah, buddy. I know, buddy. I know, buddy. Good. Good boy. I'll kick my feet. I'll pat his neck. I'll pat his butt. Hand up and down. Oh, that's a little uncomfy. Keep doing it. As long as I'm safe, I'll keep doing it. Until he's okay. Good boy. Go back on this side. Let's go back on this side. Uncomfy for him. So you kind of picked his head up. I'll just sit here. I'll rub down here like my leg is coming down to mount him. I'll rub down here because that's what it's going to feel like. Good boy. 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 It's 9.34. Such a smart kiddo. You're such a smart kiddo. 
I'm covered in horse hair now for all my classes. <laughs> I'm all sweaty. You're gonna make me smell bad. ride them until they can pretty much fall asleep while I'm doing this. He's kind of like, what's going on? I trust you, but this is a little weird. So I won't get on his back until he could fall asleep just doing this. And I will be sitting on him. Um, I think it's good to get used to a, that early on. Set down the road. If he's ready developmentally, and if he has enough muscle, and if I have enough time, if he's mentally mature enough to be started, I won't start him unless all those things happen. Down the road, riding him will be a lot easier since I've introduced this at an early stage. So we're about done for this morning session. Hopefully I'll be able to get another one in today after our classes. Howdy everyone. Today is the afternoon of day eight with Mustang Julius. And he's taken everything I've thrown at him really well. We've saddled him up with English Saddle twice now, so I think he's pretty much ready for his first big, heavy Western saddle. So here we go. Hi, buddy. First Western saddle pad. Let me take a look at it. So I used to think that when desensitizing horses, each new thing you had to throw at them, you had to desensitize them all over again. So like I thought an English pad would be different than a Western pad, and a Western saddle would be different than an English saddle. When really all you're doing when you're properly desensitizing your horse is just teaching them to think and teaching them to trust. I'm not really taking all the stimulus out of this object. I'm just placing it on him because he's he's gotten used to me placing things on him and he knows that if he stands still and accepts it, everything's going to be okay and he doesn't have to be afraid. So it's really not so much desensitizing as it is teaching your horse to think through situations that you put them through. May, come here. May, come here. Get out of there. Experience with the Western saddle. Can you give it a smell? Can I fix your saddle pad? Okay. Give it another smell. what I mean. Not every new thing is going to be a traumatic experience for him that I have to get over with every new thing. Now that I've taught him how to think, don't eat the leaves. Don't eat the leaves. Now that I've taught him how to think, new things aren't so bad. some time to, oh good boy, good boy, see not so bad, I'm taking the time to get him used to things, brushing up against his leg, like that lead rope, 
he might not have had such a good reaction. But I've time to think that things brushing up against his legs aren't all that bad. Okay, this side now. Going on this side. Good test. Oh, oh. You didn't quite see that coming. I was just about to say that's a pretty good test of whether they're ready or not. They're probably not quite ready yet. Times he gets used to that feeling. Easy. Easy. Step back before you adjust. Let him think a second. So I'm going to come over to this side. I'm going to take these up and down. I'm going to flop them around like this, like they're smacking down on the side. I'm just going to keep doing that until I realize that it's not so bad. If he tries to just walk circles around me, he's going to tilt his head into me so he can react. He just can't lunge around me like that. something, buddy. Once again, like I said, when we saddled him up for the first time English, once I can go up and throw the saddle on like he's standing ground tied like a normal horse, that's when he, I know he's ready for me to cinch it all the way up. Alright. Let's do this. I'm going to go around again to this bad side here. Over here and do the scan. Easy. 
No, sir. Sir. I know. It's not at all around. It's not fun. Easy. Gonna do this a little bit smaller now. I think it's this coming up and hitting his underbelly he doesn't like. He has to get used to it. See if I can do it a little bit smaller. Hang on to him here. Easy. Not bad. Oh, shoot. I didn't see that coming. Neither did he. I walk away to sneeze and your saddle's in the dirt when I get back. Says your hand tastes bad. Go again. Do your best. 
You doing the back girth today? Yep. Oh boy. I'm probably gonna buck. So, uh, I would say most horses buck the first time they feel a back girth. Um, he's sensitive, so I think he probably is going to buck. So I'm going to make sure as soon as I do up that back girth to get out of his way. And, uh, let me check this out. Sorry. Oh. I'm going to be quick with the camera. Huh? I'm going to have to be quick with the camera. Let me shift this over. So as soon as you do up the back growth, I'm going to get out of his way and make sure he stays out of my way. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and loop this around the saddle horn so it stays up there instead of dragging at his feet. Should stay there. I'm going to pick up my stick too, make sure he stays out of the way. I'm not going to try and make him buck though, I'm not going to send him way out right after doing up this curve, because I don't want him to associate immediately the saddle gets put on and it's time to pan it. He looks so grown up. I am going to ask him to walk. Oh, he doesn't know how he feels. Yeah. Down my face. A little bit further, please. Thank you. That's not so bad. That's not so bad at all. I do think he's going to have a bit of a reaction. You just prepare them the best that you can. As long as I can get that saddle on all the way and they stand there like a broke old horse, which he did the time I cinched it up, I consider that a fir good first saddle. And as long as no one gets hurt. <laughs> good boy, let's switch directions. Can you look at me? The smart boy. I also boy. don't put up the back girth so tight that it's squeezing them. It shouldn't be squeezing them. You could probably fit about two fingers between that back girth and his belly, which is good. Let's go ahead and try. That's not bad at all. Good boy. This pin isn't quite big enough. It doesn't have quite good enough ground to lope him in. So he proved me wrong. 
I definitely thought he was going to have a bit of an explosion at this, uh, this <laughs> back girth at the very least, but he did really good. Um, it may just be because he was in a smaller pin, he doesn't have as much room to react. Um, we're just going to see how he does to some of this. I've already done some of this with the English saddle, and it doesn't seem to be much different to him. Other thing I'll do is I'll kind of, well, it's all dusty. I'm not going to do that. I'll just use my hand. Shake it around a little bit. See what he thinks about that. Good boy. around a little bit more. You're so good. You should shoot in here more. It looks nice this time of day. Good boy. We'll just see what he thinks of this. What do you think of this? I'm just going to put the very ball of my foot in so it doesn't get stuck if I need to get free. No, this is all weird. This is all weird, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Can you call me a toy, buddy? See how I've got his head turned like this? And no matter where he goes, he kind of stays around me instead of running forwards or running away and facing me with these back heels. That way I stay in kind of a safe spot relative to his body. You want to do that one again? I think we should do that one again. Another side, kid. Ooh. Turn towards me. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you. Nope. Thank you. I'm posing for the camera. He is. He says, I got a lot of fans. You got to see my pretty face. You do have a lot of fans, buddy. Nay, stay out of there. Nay. Come here. so bad, was it? Was it? I don't think it was so bad. May, May, come here. So this kind of makes me a little May. nervous, but I'll do what you want. Just let me think about it a little bit.
back to this side. Smile. Had them all over. I can even move in that saddle like I would if I was riding him. I can move my legs, move my arms, and I'm not hanging on so much and I'm a little more centered. Good boy on his back, so it's a little more comfortable for him. Good boy. Who's a good boy? I haven't even really taught him to flex yet, so he's doing really good. Which is bad, bad on me. I should have taught him to flex before doing this. But I knew it would be okay. Did I kick you in the face? <laughs> Gotta find ways to have fun with it. You're so dirty! Look at him. Doesn't look all that dirty, but he's dirty. How'd you get so dusty, man? I just bathed you a few days ago. I did. I did, I did, I did. And then if things were to get into a pickle, or if I just want to come down... A pickle. Uh, I just slide right down like that. Just also gives me sensitizing opportunity. You're about as tall as Texas. Yeah, you are. Dirty boy! Look at my hand! <laughs> Zoom in on this. As much as it goes. It's dirty. Why are you so dirty? Because I'm a Mustang. I live for the dirt. Hey, come back this way. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Good boy. Oh, did you hear that groan? <laughs> She's like, oh, put me back and let me finish right there. You should do your outro up there. Outro? Outro? Outro. I don't have an outro. Oh, that's <laughs> That's amazing. Nah. I thought you were talking about like my intro video. It's like, no. Why would I put that at the end? Eat my foot! Do it! I dare you! I'll kick you! I'll kick you right in the seat! <laughs> Abuse caught on camera! She means it! Everyone come after her! I'll kick you in the seat! I'll kick you in the seat! Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> you can't do these kind of things on your horse. They're not ready to be broke. Which, as I said this morning, he's probably not going to get broke with me. Unless he stays longer than I expect. Because he's only a bit... Ah, 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 what, it, what, what did I tell you <laughs> about eating my toes? <laughs> They're not nutritious. They smell! They smell! <laughs> he is Prince. No, don't untie my shoelaces. <laughs> don't... You can't do it. They're double knotted. He says, watch me. <laughs> Don't. No. No. <laughs> it's like, oh no, she's going to kick me again. He's just a gray version of Prince. Get him. Get him. Untie him. I dare you. I dare you. I won't kick you, I promise. He's like, oh, you said kick. You said kick. I'm gonna get a still shot up here when he's done with that. He's gonna do it. <laughs> Listen to him groaning. He's like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear what I hear, but he's I like hear it. Slowly breathing out in a groan. Like, <laughs> I don't know if the camera picks it up. You done?
Are you done? Are you done? You almost got it. Good boy. You done? like chasing my foot around. He's chasing his tail. But yeah, I just like to get them used to a rider by making it relaxing. Just hanging out. Easy. Okay, that's enough moving for me. That's enough moving for me. I'm gonna rock down here. Now you stand still like a good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Give him a hug. <laughs> ah, you got dust in my eyes. Give him a hug. There we go. That's how I like it to go. All right, done with that. Probably for good. <laughs> Hi, my name is Camille, and I am the queen of forgetting to record an outro for my YouTube videos. Julius did really, really well that day. I was super, super proud of him. So uh, make sure you subscribe to continue following this guy's training. He's a good one.